Alright, so yeah, today I'm going to explain about this question because one of the students asked me this question in the Facebook and I realized this question is quite simple and yeah, I decided to use my my Galaxy Notes to actually do a quick reply. Alright, so the number N of the battery represent in an experiment, T minutes after me the measurement begin is given that N equals to 1000 uh, 1000 e power uh, power negative kt where k is a constant the first one is state the number of bacteria when t equals zero i found this one is quite simple and you realize it's just one mark so basically what you need to do is you just sub the t equals zero into the equation and you realize n basically will equals to will equals to 1000 and when t equals zero the whole thing will become zero isn't it so i will say e power of zero and e power of 0, if you use the calculator, calculator will tell you e power of 0 equals to 1. So you just imagine 1000 here multiply 1. So therefore, the answer for n is equals to 1000. Done. Just one mark. So it's quite simple. So when t equals to 0, find the number of bacteria is decreasing at the rates of 20 per minute. Okay, so from here, when it, whenever you see rate, you know you have something to do with dt. And then the number of bacteria, n represent number of bacteria, isn't it? So number of bacteria decrease at the rate. So I know this one basically is dn dt. So it goes to 20. But because it's decreasing, so I will write negative 20. Right, since I know about this information, so the first thing come into my mind is I know I actually need to do the differentiation. So I will just do the differentiation and make it equals to negative 20. So yeah, I will, I will copy down the equation here. So the equation is n equals to 1000 e power of negative kt if not mistaken. So it will be negative kt. Alright, so I will do the dn dt here so the dn dt here basically i will i will differentiate uh, the power of k uh, power of i will differentiate the power of e here so it's basically i will get negative k so i get negative k here and then whatever here will remain the same so this one will be e negative kt all right so when the whole thing equals to negative 20 i will write negative 20 will equals to yeah, it goes to negative k and then 1000 e negative kt. So I will try to solve this one yeah, by using the information I have. And then the question actually tell me something like, like uh, the question actually tell me something like the t actually equals 0. So yeah, so when t equals 0, so first thing the negative and negative I will simplify. It will gone. So 20. When t equals to 0 here, t equals to 0 here, I basically, the whole thing here will, the whole thing here actually will be 1000 only, right? Because 1000 multiply 1 when t equals to 0, okay? So I will, I will call this one as 1000k. So k is basically, is 20 over 1000. Then I can easily get my k is, uh, so you just divide. So you should get 1 over 50. Okay, this is how I get k. Alright then, okay, so after you have your k equals to 1 over 50, uh, 1 over 50, then you can easily find out the time taken when the battery decreased by 50%. So when t equals to 0, when t equals to 0 that time, your, your battery actually have 1000, right? When t equals to 0, your bacteria you have 1000 so now you imagine when the bacteria decrease 50 uh, 50 percent that means your bacteria only left 500 so i will need to find out what is the t value when when the bacteria is 500 only so i will just uh, do it here so yes find the number of time when the bacteria decrease to five uh decrease 50% alright so okay so I will say since the n equals to 1000 e power of negative kt and we had just have our k just now is 1 over 100 
Uh, I mean, 1 over 50. So I always write 1 over 50 t. Alright, so when n equals to 500, because decrease 50 percent. Alright, so I will just solve this equation using the log. Alright, so I will write this one is t over 50. Alright, so and then I move the 1000 to the other side, it will divide 1000. And then here actually become 1 over 2 equals to e negative t over 50. And then I add the ln for both sides. So I will e negative t over 50. Right, then I will just solve it here. So, alright, so uh, ln e will equals to 1, but I will bring the power to the front first. And then here you have ln 1 over 2. Right, so negative t, I will just multiply 50 with the ln 2, uh, ln half, I mean. So t will equal to, I move the negative to the other side. So I will use the calculator, 50 multiply ln 1 over 2. Alright, so I will get negative 34.65, so I will change it to positive, so it will be 34 point, I will say 34.7. Okay, so since they use minutes, so I will write the minutes here. Yeah, I guess this is how I solve this kind of question. Okay, it's not too complicated, but you, you will need to understand uh, what the question trying to ask. Right, so I hope the short explanation actually can help you understand about this question. Anyways, thanks for watching.